Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and today I like to do a saber tooth tiger repaint. I did this in a previous show, but I wanted to do it with more realistic colors. So this is what it, the final version will look like. I just want to kind of rotate that around so you can get a good look at it. So it look like from the top, sides, bottom, and I'll show you the types of paints that we'll be using. We'll be using uh, Liquitex acrylic paints, and I have various colors here. I have, you know, like a, a purplish color. I've got some black, I've got some yellows, orange, I've got some reds, I've got some browns, and, and I got like a whitish color. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to paint the head. So what I want to do is I want to take these two, these two colors. Uh, there's, a, there's a yellow color and an orange color, and I want to paint the yellow color. I'm going to put these aside over here now. That way I keep them in a particular order so I know what I need. And I'm going to show you how to paint the, we're going to do like a base coat of like a yellow. So I'm going to take this, take the yellow color, I'll put that right there. And now we'll start to paint that. Let's see. Just going to find the right brush. Yep, that's the one I was looking for. I found it. I'm going to use this one here. So we take this. And we're going to paint, and I just dab it on like that. See that I'm doing that? Just dab it on. So basically, you're going to paint the entire head this yellow color. See how nice that looks? We got the entire head. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow up with a little bit of an orange color. So I'm going to put that right here. But we're just going to dab that ever so lightly. I don't want to, I want to make sure we keep kind of keep that yellow color too. So. Got that. And I'm just going to dab ever so lightly. See that? Just ever so slightly. Don't want to go too heavy. Give it a little ex extra color. See that? See how I'm doing that? Just ever so slightly. You don't want to put too much. You just want to kind of dab it ever so slightly to give it that an orange, orangey color. You got the Kind of dab it all around. See, I'm doing that in there. Just add a little bit of extra color. I'm going to go all around. Just dab it ever so slightly. And then we're going to do some in the back too. 
on the ears. See that? You dab that like that. And ever so slightly. Ah, that's starting to look nice. Okay, we got that. You see how I did that all around the head? Just, just want to, you don't want it to be too powerful, but you just want it to add a little additional color to that yellow we originally did. So the next step that I want to do is I want to take and I want to put the hair dryer on this. Because I want to dry it so it'll make it easier to work with. Okay, now that we've got that done, let me just wipe my hands a little bit. This is still a little sticky from the paint. We're going to start to add some of the wonderful details to this. So what we're going to do is... We're going to paint the eyes. So what I want to do is I'm going to do the eyes. I'm going to take black. Put that right there. I'm going to use that. So what I'm going to do is take, dab this. And see the pupil right here? I'm going to get right in there. Dab that right into the pupil. I'm just going to dab it one more time. I just want to make sure we got enough paint in there. And just roll the brush around a little bit. See how we did that? And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Put that in there. And that eye. Try to get so you can see a better view here. See that? Just like that. I might just add a touch more. Make sure we got enough paint in there. So see how that looks? Really starting to shape up. The next thing that we want to do is I want to use, let me see what this, I want the, um, I want to use more like a, 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 a deeper yellow color than we used before. That's it called the yellow oxide. So we'll use that. And we're going to paint the eyes that color around the pupil that we painted black. Now, I'm going to take this yellow and then the paint around the eye. See that? I think it's a nice contrast to the black.
See how nice that is? We'll do the same thing on the other side. See how nice that looks? Now that we got that in there, just gonna do one little more touch up and then we'll be good. Look at that looks nice. Next thing that I want to do is we want to do the mouth area. So I've got this red color that I'm going to use. Just going to put a little bit of that there. And what I'm going to do is I want to paint the inside of the mouth, but I'm going to paint the roof of the mouth with this color and the rest of the mouth. So we got, see this how I'm going in here? See I'm doing that? You want to get it in between, like the saber teeth there we have. And just dab it ever so slightly. swishing it around on the top part of the mouth basically right now. So you can kind of see that through the saber teeth right there. Try to rotate it so you can see. We're getting that the nice red in there. Okay, so we got that. Next thing that we want to do is we want to paint the tongue. So I got that. So we got the now we're going to have a, a little darker red. I want to paint the tongue. So now we're just going to go in from the side here and paint the tongue. So you can see how I'm getting that from the side, see? We want to get them from the side too. See how we did that? You see that the tongue, the nice red color that we're putting in there? I'm 
trying to make sure I didn't miss any spots. But see how nice that looks? Really starting to come along nicely. The next thing that we want to do is we want to paint. I'd like to do the nose. We have a nice purple color for that. So we're going to put that right here. This will have a nice contrast for the nose. Take one of our small brushes. Now we can paint the nose. See that? See how I did that, the top part of the nose? And then we want to do the front part here. And you want to get the inside of the nostrils here, too. See that? Then we want to get the inside of the nostril here. See how nice that? It's a nice contrast to the rest of it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come back in with another yellow. I want to see which one. And we're going to ever so slightly just dab over that purple. But we want, to, we want the purple to still show through and everything. So I'm just going to take and do a little bit of dabbing. See that? We'll just dab it ever so slightly. I just come back in with a little more purple. I don't want to cover it too much. Just gives it a very interesting look. So now that we've done that, I want to do the teeth. And we got We got a nice, it's almost like an off white, and we're going to put that right here. We're going to do the teeth. Now we're going to paint the saber teeth. See that? Put 
trying to go all around the tooth so we don't miss any spots. So I'm trying to hit it from all angles. And then we'll do the other side. Just want to get all around, make sure that I'm not missing anything. See that? See how nice that looks? It's really starting to show up nicely. And we are going to do, there's a couple more little teeth here on the side that I want to do. See that little tooth on the side down the bottom here? We want to just hit that. And then we'll do the same on the other side. And then we also have some teeth up here that I'm going to touch up. See how nice that looks? It's really starting to come along really nicely. There are a couple of other areas that I want to do. The inside of the ears, I'm going to paint those. We're going to touch those up with the white. See that, how we do that? With the inside of the ears. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? Right there. See how nice that looks? Nice, really nice contrast. Now, we're going to come over to the other ear and do the same thing. Fill that. And now, there's another area that I want to hit. I want to look at my model here. And I want to kind of touch this up with a little white right here. See that? And then we'll do the same to the other side. Let's see if I'm, yep. 
And then we'll do on the other side too a little bit. Get over there. See that? Are we getting all around? And now we'll do this right here with the other side here. See how we're doing that? Now that we've got that, it's starting to look really nice. Now, I do want to darken them up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is we have a couple of different colors here. We have a couple of browns. That's like a burnt sander. This is a raw umber. And we're going to flick that around the head. I'm going to take this. And we're going to darken it up a little bit. I'm going to dab like right here. The front, see what I'm doing, like in the end of those. Because that's where he has his, uh, the whiskers would come out and everything. And then we're just kind of, just ever so slightly add a little color. Just darken this up a little bit. And go around the mouth a little bit. See that? I'm going to go around the eyes a little bit. I'm going to darken those up a little bit. See that? Do the same thing that side. Because I think it has nice contrast with the black and the yellow that's inside the eye. Yeah, it's really starting to come along nice. So in this area here, we'll, we'll flick a little more, make it a little darker. See that? Get a little more in here. Just flick it ever so slightly. Darken it up nice. And I'm going to do the underside here too. The underside of the jaw. See that? I'm going to 
Go all around here. Now we're going to come up to the top of the head and we're going to darken that up a little bit too. Look at that. How nice that looks. Just flick it across a little bit. And then what we want to do too is I want to go around the ears. See right here? See this? We're going to go around the ear a little bit. Darken it up a little bit. I like, I, it gives a nice contrast. See what I'm doing there? I'm taking and going around the ear here. Want to do a little more of the back of the ear too? See that? Darken it up a little bit. Now we want to kind of do the back of the head a little bit too. That looks good for the back. I just want to do a little bit more down the, down here. Wow, that's really, really coming along nice. And we'll just dab a little more in the front, a little more here. Yeah, I really like that. We'll maybe dab a little more here. So I'm just kind of double checking to make sure I didn't miss any spots. See how nice that's really starting to look? It's a big difference from when we started painting it. There is going to be one more color that I'm going to throw on there. It's a little darker brown. It's called a, a burnt umber. That's a little darker brown. We'll use that. See which brush I want to use here. Put that in there. That looks good. I'm going to dab this a little more with the whiskers. See that? And then ever so slightly, we just add a little bit here and there to or make it just a little, just, a, just flick it a little bit across here. Just ever so slightly. You don't want to cover up all that other beautiful work that we did. Just add a little bit there. Add a little bit more here.
Add a little bit under here. Darken it up a little more. Now the ears, we can darken up a little more up here too. So we'll just take and add a little more up there. But just ever so slightly. Probably darken up a little bit around the eyes. Going to take, you know, see that? Going to get that in there. Looks real nice. I'm going to darken up a little bit here. We'll add a little more around the eyes. See that? Just, just ever so slightly. Just dab it. Then we're going to add a little more color here. A little more at the top. See, it's nice because what you're doing is you're basically layering all the paint. You know, we're building with it just a little bit of color in each one and Gives it a really nice contrast when once everything's done. And then we'll do a little bit back here. I'm touching up the ears a little bit. And then just flick a little bit of here and there. I'm gonna get. Let's see, let me just see how he looks. I'm pretty happy with the way he turned out. See how nice those colors contrast with each other? Normally I'd say we'd put an acrylic coating on this, but today I like the way it, I like the way it looks without the acrylic coating. So, but I'm looking, just wanna make sure. I do wanna add a little more around, one more eye, right about here maybe. Yeah. See how nice that looks? I'll show you what the final version will look like. I actually did add the acrylic coating to the one I have here. Let me dry my hands, make sure the paint's dry. But this here, this is what the final version will look like when I put that acrylic coating on it. I'll just slowly turn it around. You can see that. See how nice that looks? We'll flip that all around. You can see that from the top. You can see like the red in the mouth. I'll try to flip that so you can see that. You see the tongue, the saber tooth, saber tooths there. Everything came out really well, so I was very happy with it. I do want to thank you for coming to the show, Saber Tooth Tiger Head, the repaint, and I do want to. I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.